What is happening, Magnesites? So, you see the title. This is the title that I saw on certain videos talking about this. I did not watch the videos. So, that's why there's a question mark at the end of mine. I'm asking a question. Did he just go full slave? Um, let me check this out. It says here on Variety, Billy D. Williams defends actors wearing blackface. If you're an actor, you should do anything you want to do. I'm going to give you my quick take on the controversy of blackface really quick. I do not believe that when Robert Downey Jr. played a black man in, what was it, Tropic Thunder, that that was blackface. However, I do believe what they did back in the old days with painting their faces pitch black, painting those big pink or white lips around their mouths was absolutely blackface meant to demean, make fun of, make a caricature of black people. In Tropic Thunder, they were trying to make him look exactly like a black man as possible, as real as possible. When I saw that, I thought that was one of the funniest things I had ever seen in my life. You know why? Because he literally acted like some black men, older black men specifically, that I've met before. I was like, I didn't know he could do that. I was watching a movie with a girlfriend at the time, and I was like, you, you know who that is, right? She was like, no, I was like, it's Iron Man. She's like, oh my God. I was like, yeah. I was like, Shit, he fooled you, right? So there is a difference between those two types of makeup. For example, when Dave Chappelle, if you want to flip it, did Chappelle's show, there were a few skits in the beginning where he played a white news reporter or he would dress up as a white man for different skits. And it showed that they were literally trying to make him look like a white man. I would not have considered that white face. I do got to say, though, later on, they started making him look pastier and pastier, which I was like, okay, now you just look, that don't even look right. If someone wanted to make an argument for that being whiteface, I'd be like, mm, well, I'm not going to really argue with you that much because that's just ridiculous. Like, I've never seen anybody white that looks like that. You got what I'm saying? So, let's see what he has to say about this. Billy Dee Williams believes actors should be able to perform in blackface. In a new episode of Bill Maher's Club Random podcast, the Star Wars actor recalled watching Lawrence Oliver in 1965's Othello, in which Oliver wore blackface to portray the title role. Well, let's take a look at this guy. Um, Oliver Lawrence, no, Lawrence Oliver, Othello. Take a look at this right now so I can see what type of blackface this dude was wearing. Yeah, Othello, that came up right away. Uh, well, eh, this one looks like they tried as well as they could. It doesn't look like they were trying to make a caricature or a parody or make fun of black people with this. But I see why people would be offended because he doesn't look, um, doesn't even look authentic. You know, like when Eddie Murphy dressed up as the old white man in the barbershop, like that worked. Like we've seen old white men that look like that. It didn't look like he was trying to make fun of white people. All right, so let me see what else he's saying. Okay, so when, when he did Othello, I fell out laughing, Williams said of Oliver. He stuck his ass out and walked around with his ass, you know, 
because black people are supposed to have big asses. Okay, see, I didn't see his portrayal. So maybe he was making a mockery of us when he did that. I thought it was hysterical. I loved it, Williams said. I love that kind of stuff. Hmm. Marr noted that today they would never let you do that, which Williams replied, why? Blackface? Marr uh, questioned in a tone of surprise. Why not? You should do it, Williams said. If you're an actor, you should do anything you want to do. Marr then pointed out that Williams, 87, uh, actually lived in a period where you couldn't play the parts you should have played. Uh, the point is that you don't go through life feeling like that. I'm a victim, Williams explained. I refuse to go through life saying to the world, I'm pissed off. I'm not going to be pissed off 24 hours a day. Earlier in the conversation, Williams had said, if I'm going to be creative, let me be creative as, the in, as an individualist. I don't want to do anything based on this whole idea that you're a black person, you're a white person, and things of nature. Uh, and, th and things of that nature. I'm an artist. I'm a creative entity in this life. Williams has been promoting his memoir, What Have We Here? Hello, what have we here? Portraits of Life, which chronicles his childhood growing up in Harlem to his career on Broadway and in Hollywood. The actor is known for his role as Lando Carrizian in the Star Wars universe, as well as other films. I need to see this portrayal that this guy did. Uh, but the way he makes it sound, he makes it sound like this dude was uh, maybe embellishing a little bit on how black people really are. Um, I, I This is uh, an interesting subject. Um, as an actor, I do believe that you should be able to pretty much play any role that you want to play. Like, for example, I mean, if you're doing um, a, a movie about Africa, you're, you're, and it's going to be, you know, African people, you're not going to get a bunch of, of black people, I mean, of white people to dress up like black people. You get what I'm saying? Um, like the comedic aspect of Tropic Thunder is why they did that for that. And it's the same reason why Dave Chappelle sh did that for that. Othello, I never saw that. So I don't know if that was supposed to be a comedy film or was supposed to be serious. Um, but like I said, old school blackface was super, super racist. It wasn't even meant to compliment us in any way. But when I look at acting today and I look at, um, oh, you're, if you're, especially like with the whole voiceover thing, they had the guy quit voice in Cleveland because he wasn't black. That didn't make any sense to me. If you can do a good voice impression, do it all day long. Okay. There are women that have do a lot of women do little boys voices. Is that not Okay. Is that not okay? Sometimes you might need an adult with the mindset of an adult to be able to truly pull off the acting for a child. But there are plenty of child actors out there that do great voices. Charlie Brown, um, I think, was famous for having all child actors. So, uh, and then you've got people over the whole thing. If you're not LGBTQ, you shouldn't play an LGBTQ person in a movie. It's called acting. It's called acting. LGBTQ community has ruled Hollywood forever. You know how many actors, actresses, and musicians, and directors, and different people in Hollywood, in the entertainment field, period, have been part of the LGBTQ community? And you didn't know it, or it came out later. And a lot of them played straight people in movies, correct? I'm not saying you're getting mad. Say, oh, he, sh he shouldn't have played a straight person because he's he's actually gay or he's bisexual. Oh, it doesn't make any sense to me. 
I'm not going to condemn him. I got to uh, look at a fellow and, you know, get some more context to this. But um, I don't know. I, I, I just I'm striving on the fence. I, I don't know. I'm just going to have to look more into it. But it is what it is. You let me know what you guys think. 10 million subscribers.